Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to the Curious Expedition. So you may notice that up here it says we this is the fourth expedition out of six. What happened to Expedition 3? Well, unfortunately, I played through it thinking I was recording it, but in fact, I did not actually capture any video. Now, I am going to uh, leave a link in the description to the unlisted uh, video that is part three. Um, so it's just the audio with my banner over it. And if you want to hear what happened in episode three, you can go, you can just click on that link and it'll bring you to it, but I'm not going to add it to the playlist or anything. Um, that said, I will tell you what happened in uh, episode three. We went to the desert, I think a desert over here. And uh, in that desert, we had our first combat. Well, first of all, I got rid of Diamap. Uh, when we were in port, I got rid of Diamap, uh, the cannibal, the like uh, bipolar cannibal. That was a little too much. Um, and instead, I got who did I get? I got um, whoever I got is still with us, so I, I'll be able to show you. But uh, uh, we did get someone else. Oh, I think we got we got two people. We got a cook, and I, I'm not sure both of them are with us. But we got a cook, and we got a. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're still with us. Um, and we ended up. Uh, we obviously we lost the quest to get the hyena to kill the hyena, and we actually lost some fame because of that. We got a new quest uh, for the desert to finish it in 80 days or less to like speed run it, and we did succeed in that. Um, and we'll get the reward for that when I think when we start this uh, next expedition. Um, so we kind of hurried through. That said, we did we actually never ran into any natives, but we did run into two different enemies. One was like a Komodo dragon kind of thing, and the other was a mummy that we found in a tomb where I think I tried to loot something. Um, and I realized, you remember last time where we couldn't, and maybe I, you know, I, I didn't actually talk about this. I made a huge mistake in episode two when we were in the Arctic. I did not realize that we were overburdened. You know what? I think I actually did talk about this. Yeah, never mind. I think I, I may have already mentioned that. But uh, one of the reasons we kept losing so much sanity is because we were overburdened and I didn't realize that. It was a huge oversight. I had a similar oversight when I tried combat. I did, we did two combats and I just could not, for the life of me, figure out how to cause damage to these things. I would roll um, swords and fists and things that you would think would be offensive and sometimes they would roll nothing. Yet, they would, they, I was not hurting them at all. Um, and I don't know why, or I didn't know why. Since then, I did decide to look at, just quickly at the wiki for this game in the combat. Uh, and I think I know what I did wrong, and it definitely isn't intuitive. Uh, not like the overburden thing. But uh, maybe we'll do some more combat and I'll show you. But in any case, because I did so badly in the combat, we did lose at least one husky. Which is very sad. In any case... Uh, we did eventually go find the Golden Pyramid, and we did it in the appropriate amount of time. And now, with that little uh, intro, what are we going to do this time? We we have the option to go back to the Arctic. And now that I know about that we were overburdened last time, this might still be the most preferable option, because we still have bonuses to that, and we still have some items that are good in the Arctic, like our polar tickets, our polar station tickets, um, as opposed to the jungle or the drylands. We've already been to the drylands. We've never been to the jungle. But I think, I think we're the Arctic Explorer. We have to go back to the Arctic when we can. It is a different part of the Arctic, I believe. I could be wrong about that. But we're going to go here. And the other, because I think we did lose a little fame, the others, and we also didn't, like, sell any artifacts or donate any artifacts last time because I, I sped through it and combat went badly, so I didn't end up getting anything to donate. So even though we won, we still won the, like, the race to the Golden Temple, Golden Pyramid, uh, other people are starting to catch up in their fame. We're still ahead. Okay, let's start the expedition. Full of anticipation, I boarded the ship. The crew had preparations left to do, so I sat on the pier and waited. The gentleman tipped his hat at our expedition. He doubted that we were able to return within 80 days, but I had proven him wrong. He congratulated me and rewarded the expedition for our efforts. I will say, this intro part, until we get to... I noticed this last time. I think one of the reasons I... I didn't record the video last time is the game had an update and I I had to actually update my video recording software to kind of reconnect to the game because of the update. Also since the update this first part of the game seems to be really choppy and slow for some reason until we actually start the actual expedition in the new landmass. So uh, I experienced this last time. It's not a big deal. The game doesn't need a lot of speed. All right obtain reward. 
We received new funds. See, it's kind of choppy. We received new funds as a thank you. It's too bad we didn't get some fame, although we didn't have any funds, so this is good. Uh, a trader politely asked for a moment of my time. He was a collector of sorts and promised to compensate me favorably for any instruments that we received. Okay, we can try to do that. The trader was heartened by my acceptance of his request. He wished us luck and a safe journey. The news of my glorious adventures had spread, so I was not surprised to see the stories of my exploits had lured all manner of intrigued personalities. Many new recruits showed up, hungry for glory and adventure. Who did I want to recruit? So, uh, we still have a couple of dogs. We still have one of our huskies that we started with. We lost the other husky, um, the female husky. But we still have Lewis, the dog, who came with our journalist that got eaten by Dimap. Um, so that's good. We still have him. Although Lewis can't hold anything, he still has some dice, which is nice. And he doesn't use up character slots, which is also nice. This is us. You can see there's some like lag here. This will go away. We have our cook, uh, Juliette Leboeuf. Um, and she, uh, I think she increases the sanity we get back from uh, come cooking meat. Oh, we can gain sanity by cooking meat. I assume we have to win a combat to do that, though. I think we actually lost a loyalty with her because I, I one thing that happened was I reprimanded her for, like, talking badly to me to the other people in the party. So it might have, something worse might have happened if I didn't reprimand her, but I did lose a point of loyalty with her. And then we have James Sterling, the diplomat. That's right, he's a diplomat. And he decreases prices when bartering, and I did level him up once. And so far, he's been great. You'll notice neither of these people have any negative traits yet. Uh, man, but when I ended the last episode, almost all of my party were like bleeding and infected. And if I hadn't have won just then, I probably would have lost more people. So I got pretty lucky there. Okay, but we have an extra slot because we did lose one of our huskies. So we have Private Christopher Overton, the mountain trooper. I assume you're good at combat. Oh no, reduce movement costs when traversing hills. That is interesting. Oh, and the bonus I took last time, I I can't even remember. I think it's bonus movement through something, but I can't remember exactly what it is. I can't remember what the bonus is. We'll have to check at the end. Uh, Campbell Macbeth, the soldier. Now, you have a negative trait here. Um, you fear being enclosed. You're, you're a claustrophobic. Um, increases gain sanity when drinking whiskey. And we do have one whiskey. That's kind of what I used to gain some sanity last time. Um... And I believe, although it could be wrong, that we can buy whiskey in port here. So that's pretty good, but I don't like that you already have a negative trait. What, do you also have? Oh, yeah, and your capacity is the same. Uh, Ferozisha Manak Manakshaw, the traitor. Now, we already have someone, um, a diplomat, that lowers prices. Does that lower prices even more? Now, you have good loyalty, too, and combat. In fact, just as much combat as the soldier. Hmm... You know, I think, why don't we get two traders? I, I'm hoping that they stack. I, I don't want the, the, um, the claustrophobic guy, uh, even though the whiskey might be nice. Um, although, you know what? Going over hills, decrease speed over hill. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with Private Christopher Overton. He's, he, he doesn't, he's not offensive, um, and I'm not sure what kind of dice we really need, but I think the decreased sanity loss for going over hills, hills are all over the place. Let's get them. All right, I could surely use a combat experience chap and welcome Private Christopher Overton. As I was one of the most famous explorers, the boarding of our ship had drawn quite the crowd. Oh, I could actually recruit someone else. I didn't realize I had a whole nother slot open. Oh, you know what? I think I can get someone and then make someone leave. So do I want someone else? You, what does that mean? That you hate the opposite sex? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Let me, oh my gosh. Come on, Boyd. Help me out here. What is that negative trait? Oh my gosh. This is, all right. And you two, you also have a negative trait. I can't, I don't know what's going on here. And you also have a negative trait. You know, I think I'm probably happy with who I have. This is very frustrating that I can't, there we go. Yeah, you're sexist. That's what it is. And whiskey expert. And you were also a whiskey expert? Oh my gosh. But, and you have a bad drinking habit. Yeah, that's not good. And then you, the cultist is, come on. Oh my gosh. Do it. I, I give up. Who cares? We don't want them. No thanks. We have five out of five already. My heart jumped with joy as I heard the vessel was ready to set sail. Um... 
let's see if we can purchase some equipment. Now I have a bunch of water and I would like, and you can't really consolidate it. There's no good way to consolidate it. Uh, we were in the desert last time, so we needed the water. Treasure pendulum. A small sunflower and the initials TT are engraved on spec. It does not consume weight capacity. Uh, what? It costs 20. That's not bad. I don't understand what this mark is. But because I don't know what it is and it doesn't take capacity, I kind of want it. Maybe we could trade it. No, so we will want things that we can trade to other people, um, especially things that... Um, extra bullets, I realize you don't actually reload the shotgun with it. It's just like adding another weapon. And of course, I couldn't figure out combat, so it didn't work very well for me. The same with the spear, although I don't have the spear anymore because I used it. So they don't have whiskey here. Can I sell? No. Uh, they have chocolate this time instead. So I might want chocolate for extra sanity. It does cost a lot. I have a decent amount of snowshoes, although they are cheap. And we will need them. I will max out. Or I will get a full 10. Uh, plus, it stacks with what I already have. We have rope. Ooh, we might need climbing gear. Um, now, the climbing gear does cost money. So that's um, New Balance One's 54. Not great. Signature pistol. No, we already have the shotgun. I don't think I am going to get extra bullets, although we don't have a spear. Maybe I, I will. It does stack with what I have. All right. Um, I think it's fine to use all the funds we have. We have one more inventory slot to go around. Oh, and we don't have any chocolate yet, so that'll be it. Really as much as we can. We still have funds of eight, but that that's fine. We can... Um, actually, I could buy another bullet. Yeah, because you can sell this stuff. All right, that'll do. And of course, we can leave stuff on the boat. I might leave this tone page of water drain on the boat. I think this is going to be good for like a swamp or a jungle. And also, we can leave one of the waters on the boat. So yeah, I could buy more things. Um, but do I want to? The first aid kit actually would have been useful. Uh, but we don't actually need to fight anyone this time. Boy, yeah, that first aid kit. How much does it cost? 12. That's expensive. I could get rid of, you know what? I'm going to get rid of two bullets and get one of these. I'm still going to keep one bullet and one first aid kit. We have a little bit of funds left over, but I think this is going to be good. Okay. Oh, and maybe I should have kept some funds for animal improvement, which could have increased the carrying capacity. Uh, wow, this is taking a really long time to load in. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't have any money. So whatever. Uh, hopefully it's fine. Hopefully your carrying capacity will be just fine. Let's set sail. All right, and now the stuttering should stop. Well, it's got to do all this. And I don't remember this last time either. This takes a little while longer. And once this finishes up, it goes back to normal speed. I feel like they made some update to the game that was supposed to improve performance. And instead, it kind of did the opposite effect for part of it. I'm sure we're going to see another update to this game soon that fixes this. But in the meantime, it's still very playable and it's just fine, I think. Uh, there we go. So now everything should be fine. Our boat's moving. Yeah, and now we're approaching the Arctic from a different direction from the last time we did an Arctic mission. Okay, and we have two levels here. After weeks of nasty food and seasickness, a shoreline rose in the morning mi mist. Uh, we had arrived and it was time to sally forth. Let's access the ship storage because I want to dump some of the water, or all of the water. I'm going to dump our tone page of water. Oh, it doesn't consume weight capacity. Oh. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's what this feather icon is. It doesn't consume weight capacity. All right, so we're still over our capacity by one. That's not great. Okay, um, so what can I get rid of? Um. I could dump the whiskey actually and wait until we get until we buy more whiskey that stacks with it. That means we only have three things that'll increase our sanity. And hopefully that's okay, but I don't I think we're gonna want everything else. Okay. Uh wait. We do have We we have the slots for this. Actually, I think we may actually have the slot for a whiskey. Cause this is empty here. We should be this is a little confusing, but I think it's fine now that we got rid of that water. I think. We're not overburdened. Yeah, we have everything. Okay. Uh, we don't need to refill the water. Let's begin. Okay. 
So we could promote you. Uh, can we? Yeah, we can't promote ourselves. That's not a thing. We are level four. We, we are going up in level. Oh, every expedition. Right. Yeah, it was Jungle Explorer I got. So reduce movement cost and thick jungle. Of course, that's not going to come up here. Oh, we're charismatic. That's why I'm getting options to recruit to. And that's why last time I was able to recruit both of these, even though we lost. Yeah, even though I got rid of Diamap and Diamap 8, our other person. That's right. And Impetus is great. And we are already an Arctic Explorer. And now a Jungle Explorer. So I guess we could have gone to the jungle, but we still have the polar things. We still have snowshoes. Um, do I want to promote these folks? Mountain Guide. Um, so far, we're not seeing any mountains. I think we're okay. We, I don't know how often, I think honestly, we'd probably get rid of the cook before anyone else. Um, cause I don't know how often we find meat. I think I'm going to upgrade James Sterling to level three. So even better prices. Yeah. I guess the dogs you can't upgrade and that's one of the disadvantages of having dogs. They also don't go crazy and eat your, uh, you know, they don't go cannibalistic. Uh, yes, let's level you, James Sterling. Yay! Okay, you have my thanks. Um, cool. All right, let's go. So the compass is going crazy, doesn't know where to go. Let's just go over here. Now, there is a, a magnetic mountain here, so that'll probably affect things, but we just need some visibility. Ooh, there's something up there. Ooh, and it looks like we might want to go up there because this is not easy to traverse. It's only 15 movement to get up there. And I'm not saying, oh, there's something down here, but I feel like that's not the way we want to go. Although, um, let's look at the map. Oh, we know there's a polar station there. Yeah, this is a left to right map. That's interesting. Really, we could go either way here. That's snow forest, and this is deep snow. Now, of course, we do well in deep snow. So let's go up here. I feel like maybe there's going to be a greater reward because there's greater risk, and the risk isn't that bad for us being Arctic explorers with snowshoes. Although I may have been wrong here. Oh, never mind. I think we actually want to go up to that polar station, and maybe we can, it can bring us all the way down here. Of course, we still want to find an instrument uh, if we can. Let's enter the stone circle. We came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. Oh, there were inscriptions etched into each rock. Perhaps they formed a manner of map. So I'm assuming we can only pick one of these. Although, or maybe we can do each, but each one will like lower our standing. And I'm not sure. Reveal camp points, reveal settlements, reveal caves. Finding an instrument or ruins. I think we're going to want to find settlements because they, they might have instruments to, to sell or for us to buy. So that's what I'm going to do. The natives will not like this. We have learned time to lose. Okay, well, there it is. Now, that's a decent amount of sanity, but we can definitely do it. Um, that won't take us to the polar station. But it will get us... Honestly, the other polar station might be closer at that point. I think we go to the native village, though, because that instrument, finishing those quests is actually really important. And we have all the snow... This would be super hard to get to if we didn't have all the snowshoes that we bought, but we bought them. Let's do it. Is there something here that I missed? I think there is something here. Um, oh, no, there's no question mark. Just deep snow. Um, okay, let's enter the village. And we let's see if we can get some sanity back here, too. This evening we reached a village. We were not the only visitors to this village. A wandering trader and self-proclaimed beastmaster had displayed a few mysterious covered crates. Now, a beast ma dying map was a beastmaster. Or the cannibal. The natives observed us with intrigue. They were polite and offered us what they could. Fortunately, our standing is zero, so uh, we don't have to, like, give them anything to talk to them. Let's trade first. My first priority is getting an instrument... Do you have one? Oh, great. This is very good. Um, spear, raw meat, muktuk. No. Mini puppets. No, they do not have an instrument. Now, we do have a cook. So the meat might be really good. And it is cheaper here. Minus 34. Uh, I don't know what we have to sell. Do we have anything that they value more than other things? Yes, whiskey. They actually value whiskey. 
So I'm glad we still have that. They do not value this. They do not value bullets. Ooh, they super value snowshoes. But I think we actually need them. Let's sell the whiskey because it sells for twice the price here. Let's get the jewels because they're cheap here and we can sell them for extra. Um, so we have 10 left to spend. Now we could get a muck tuck and that would provide us with extra sanity, especially because we have the cook. Sorry, not the muck tuck. The raw meat. The raw meat's only five. Mini puppets, water, haggle. Oh, I can take one. Oh. Oh. Wait. We only have... Why wouldn't I do that? I don't know. But maybe we can actually get some extra snowshoes out of this. Uh, let's take the meat, because uh, we have the cook, and I think that's important. Because uh, this won't give us extra... The muktuk won't give us extra. Now, it is cheaper. The muktuk is cheaper here than it would be otherwise. We could actually bring it back. We could actually sell that, because it's cheap to buy. Oh, snowshoes are super expensive. So I'm, I'm going to try to avoid buying the snowshoes and just get by on what we have. I don't know about the mini puppets. Um, so you know what? I think I will buy Muktuk. Because we can at least sell it for a profit. And that's going to be it. Um, now that's three slots we don't have. Uh, we only have one slot. That's a problem. I could get rid of the climbing gear. I mean, it sells, I think it sells for the exact same amount we paid for it, right? Of course, I kind of want snowshoes in return. But I can just take this. Yeah, I think that's actually a good trade as long as I don't need climbing gear. Mm -hmm. So we still uh, are over by one slot. And maybe once we talk to the Beastmaster, this won't even be a thing. I could sell my snowshoes, but I think that would be dumb. I could actually, <coughs> excuse me, get, <coughs> wow, get rid of my water. It doesn't sell for anything, but it's free for us at the beginning of any journey. And I don't think we really need it in this biome. I mean, I could really be shooting myself in the foot, but I think this is fine. I think this is not a territory where it's hard to come by. So I think we should be good here. Deal. I came to an agreement with the villagers. Standing is still okay, even with the haggling. Okay. We could try to recruit. Let's go to the Beastmaster first. I greeted the Beastmaster. The traders seemed to roam the area to catch some of the wild local wildlife. Oh. He welcomed us and presented his selection of beasts. Um, cool. I would, I would love to get a polar bear. That would be amazing. I don't know what these are. I don't know what you need to get them. Uh what these icons mean. Apparently, at some, we might be able to buy uh, Arctic wolves and polar bears if we had whatever these were, but I guess we just don't have them, which is too bad. Um, let's see who they have to recruit. Anyone? No, we have a bad reputation. I mean, our reputation is zero, but I guess it needs to be positive to be able to recruit. Okay. All right, so let's rest in the village because we definitely want to get our sanity up. Oh, an offer. A native approached me with an offer. He told me that he knew of a location far from here which would be worthwhile, but he demanded payment. Ah, <sighs> a worthwhile location. What do we have? Hmm. What? Hmm. I don't like this. You don't value those. You don't value that. I'm still confused about this treasure pendulum. Because it says amount one out of three. So I feel like these may be like collectibles that we should keep. Uh, okay. So what do you need? Um, Ten. I'm going to sell. Oh, we don't have. Yeah, rope is only two each. But I could sell you just... Because we don't need all that rope, right? 
I guess. I guess we don't need all that rope. I'm going to say no. Now, that leaves you with a little bit of profit. But it is what it is. We still have two rope. Okay. Um, with that little amount, value L, oh, we don't want the water. Is there anything that has a value rope? Yeah, we don't want the water. Okay, done. Okay, we were enlightened about a remote region where an unimaginable array of elephant graveyards were situated. However, we were warned of the occasional appearance of cunning beasts that protect the area. We marked the spot on our map for the next expedition. Now I'm worried we're not going to have stuff to trade. Oh, good. Oh, we lost standing. A lot of standing. Um, despite the intriguing interaction, I could tell the natives were on edge. All right, we're leaving. But that was a good amount of sanity. We packed up the trek and sallied forth as new adventures could be waiting over the next ridge. New world discovered. So, I guess this is, I don't know if that's the location. Can I, yeah, I can move this. Hmm. Oh, this must be the location. I don't know. Well, let's go here because it's pretty cheap to get to. Um, and we still need an instrument. I don't know what we're going to trade for an instrument, but we need one. Explore. Under a light cover of snow, I found their awesome... Oh, this is the elephant graveyard. The uh, tusks and bones. This was a graveyard for the legendary mammoths. I discovered spear and arrowheads... <coughs> excuse me. Made of stone between the bones. A hunt gone wrong. The area was marked heavily by animal tracks. Staying here would surely attract some unwanted guests. We have to search. I mean, we're here. And plus, I want to try combat again, even if it's probably a bad idea. Let's search the area. Okay, we got a day. We lost a day. My instinct said we would find something of value here. We spread out and searched the area. While we did not find any tusks of value, we did find something else. Altogether peculiar instead. Please be an instrument. Oh. Oh. Looks like we might get some kind of cool animal. Um, unfortunately, it does take an inventory slot. I guess I should have traded both of my ropes. Oh. You know what? Uh, when this is done, we should eat the meat. Okay, so that should be fine. As we departed, we became aware that our presence had attracted inquisitive wildlife. Can I eat the meat here? The diary is not closed, so... All right, continue. Ah, a polar bear. Um, so it may attack us, but we're overburdened, so we're going to eat this. Now, oh, we actually have... I, I, we have a level, so I could upgrade, folks. I could upgrade Juliet to give us more sanity. I don't know. How important is that? Like, I don't know how often we're going to get meat, to be honest. At the same time, we can use it now. Let's do it. Juliet, you're promoted. And you're forgiven for insulting me last time. Okay, let's eat the meat. Okay, and we got burnt animal meat from that. Um, restores sanity. What? Oh, overburdened. Yes. Plus five sanity. You shame the empire with such cooking. What? Isn't she supposed to be a great cook? Well, whatever. We ate it. We're not overburdened anymore. We got a little sanity back. That's the important thing. Uh, let's try to avoid the polar bear if we can. But where are we going to go? So our compass is going crazy. Um, it's not pointing north, though. And I don't see any nearby. Uh, this is the closest magnetic mountain, and it's not really focused on that. So I'm thinking it is not to the north. Of course, we still don't have an instrument. Now, we could go up this way and try to get to the polar station. How much time? It looks like we have a lot of time. By the same token, we don't have a lot of snowshoes left. We only have three, and it looks like we might need them up here. We have all these glaciers. It doesn't look like this area is easy to traverse. Of course, if we try to go back down this way, uh, this is also not easy to traverse. 
Plus, we'd probably be attacked by a polar bear. I kind of... I think that the temple is probably this way. But... I think we should maybe try to head to this polar station and then travel down from there. Because I don't want to fight the polar bear. And I want to explore more of this map because I want to make sure we get the instrument. 12, 7, 8. Um, I guess I have to use the snowshoes here. I, get, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go up right here well yeah let's do it let's go right here 12 sanity is not bad all right so we've pretty much confirmed that we're going to this polar station and hopefully traveling back down from there i don't know how to get to this glacier i assume that maybe there's just like one point of entry here so we this is not very efficient because we didn't unlock a lot so i think we have to go right here but we did avoid the polar bear, which is very good. A cave. Well, okay. It looks like from the cave we can traverse, although it takes a lot of sanity. So we might as well explore here for... Oh. Wait. How do we get to that cave? I guess we go here first? Cave entrance. 33. Yeah, that takes so much to traverse over the... That takes a lot. Do I go here first? Yeah, let's just do this first. Okay, and now we get full visibility to go to there, and I'll tr hopefully get some more sanity. We do have chocolate to eat. We approached a cave. The rocky maw led into darkness of unknown depths. We required a torch. Oh, and I don't have one. We don't have one. Ooh, but we do have a decent amount of perception dice, which is what I'm calling them. Let's try it. Okay. I I think we succeeded there. All right. Nothing would thwart us, not even the obscurity of this cave. I lost all sense of time and space as we descended into the cave. I was surprised that we forged through without any serious injuries. Yes. Good, good dice roll. Eventually, ooh, our eyesight adjusted to the darkness. We were intrigued to discover that this was just the beginning of an underground tunnel. We're exploring. Exploring one day, two days, three days. And we explored vast caverns and twisted corridors. When I finally saw light ahead, we moved towards in we moved towards it in earnest. Um I guess I have to leave cave. Oh wait. We went from here to here? That's not what I wanted. Although look, now the compass. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's saying down here, which does make sense. There's a lot of unexplored area down there. All right, so at this point, I think we're not going to do the polar station thing. That was not great. I was hoping we'd find something. Yeah, this is not great. Let's eat some chocolate. We kind of have to. Can we get to here now? Nope, let's eat one more. What? Why is this vibrating? No. Okay, well, now it's not vibrating. Okay, let's, um, water drain. I wonder if that would do anything for us here. I don't think so. Um, I, I don't want to waste it. Maybe if we were overburdened, but let's just eat more chocolate. All right, now we can safely get to here. So let's do it. Maybe there's going to be an instrument at the polar station. It's possible. Because I don't really know. What is that X? All right, let's visit. Well, actually, I kind of want to look at the map first. Oh, well. Such a big station must have been operated by a large group, but I was greeted only by the Ashen Man. For some re queer reason, he asked me about tickets. So this is the same text that we got the last time. Now, fortunately, we do, we're do. we not going to use the dog sled. What do you have to trade? <gasps> um, An optical instrument. Is that what our quest meant? Optical instrument. Uh, huh. 
I could haggle. In fact, oh, wait a minute. Did that go badly? That would reduce. If I put something here, ah. Wait, what? Oh, you just have to put something in there. Anything. Okay. Um. Hmm. Tone page of water drain. No, let's do the So just this really cheap thing plus our haggler gives us a lot of room to work with here. Um Oh, extra map point chance. I don't think this is the quest. I don't think this is the kind of instrument it was talking about. And it costs a lot. Yeah, whoa. Um, that might be, I mean, that's a pretty huge item. One out of three. So it's kind of like this. One out of three. Huh. Dynamite. But we should definitely trade with him because of the haggler. Uh, I mean, even if it's just for more chocolate. Oh. So I guess two chocolates too much. What if... What can you give me? Um, what, would, what would be valuable? Snowshoes. Oh, yeah. Snowshoes would be very valuable because we are out. Okay. That's good. Don't need polar tickets. We already have them. Um... Anything else we can buy for cheap water, but who cares? Oh, ooh, you sell a flare for very cheap. What does this do? It can help reveal nearby areas. I mean, that would be good to, like, resell? But I think we need those snowshoes, so I'm not going to do that. Plus, I do want that chocolate. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. The man had surprisingly good sense for business, such negotiation skill, needed practice. How did he get that all alone out here? Um, is there a store? Is there anything in the storage room? Nope. All right, so we're just going to rest, which we can do with the polar tickets, and that is a very good use for those. The warm beds were a welcome reprieve from the cold. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw some things scurry away in the shadows. Oh, good. Plus 30 sanity. You know, I think we're going to rest again. We're going to use a couple of these. He was watching me sleep. I could do one more, but I th think we might be good. You know what? Let's just... What else are we going to use these for? Although they are kind of hard to come by. Let's leave. I think. No, let's use it. Let's get 100%. Okay, good. Let, uh, let's leave. We still have four. I don't. Who knows if we'll ever come back to the Arctic? Okay. Where are we going to go? So our compass is telling us east, and I don't... Oh, no, there is a magnetic mountain. Hmm. So do I want to go east? Oh, we also don't have it... So, oh, what is this? I don't... I don't know what that X is. Is that X where the instrument might be? Any instrument... Yeah, I don't know about that. Deep snow. I mean, there's something there, but... And the thing is, we have three snowshoes. It would take three snowshoes to get here. And then going back, we would lose a ton of sanity. Of course, getting there takes a ton of sanity, too. And also three snowshoes. Uh, I think we... Do we want to go down? I think... If we want to go down, this might be the way to go. We might have to deal with this walrus. But I, I kind of want to go this way and get away from the magnetic mountain. I think I'm going to check this out. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Were we hit? Okay, we are being attacked. So he bit us. We are bleeding. Okay, and so last time... I attacked. And I guess if we had attacked him, we would have gotten the first thing. Our private got hit. Um, I will. Our shotgun is here. I could add a bullet. And I guess I will. So each one of these die has a chance to roll a different thing. 
Now, last time, when it, when I couldn't figure out how to get it to work, he, like the enemy would never take damage. I would roll and just nothing would happen. So let's roll. And you get re-rolls. In fact, I think I might want to re-roll. But I think, I think what I didn't do, I think you need to actually, after you roll, select the die instead of just ending round. That's what I never did. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's re-roll. I feel like we can do better. That's pretty good. So, what are we going to do here? Um, we, we, yeah. Attack. Shotgun blast. Is that flea? Shotgun power blast. Cool. So, the shaking ones, I think, combo up. Which is cool. Point blank. multi -attack. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, then... Let's also add that. Oh, that, okay. Oh, I said okay, and now my, you know, my my home device is talking. So you can only select certain things from what you roll, but this looks good to me. Although defense might also be good, but no, let's do it. Um, okay, this thing's tough. This thing's super tough. Oh, and now I get to do, now I get to select more things. I don't... Ripper Leap. Okay. What if I didn't do that? And instead... Strong Claws, damage 4. Taunt! I don't think I want to do that. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I do. What if I chose that? And it would make the enemy bleed. Let's do it. Good. Oh, hold on. These are shaking, but there's n doesn't seem like there's anything I can actually combine them with. Taunt. Yeah, just taunt. Strong claws. And I guess that doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh, I can re-roll what I have here. Oh, I didn't realize that. All right, and then defend. Oh, I should have... So the first roll, I should have... This could have been much better. Now I'm starting to understand, though. And we have a shield here. And you're taunting. I should probably use this. Because, I mean, if we lost him, it wouldn't be the worst, but we would lose carrying capacity. And round. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. That that was like the worst situation. He used his area attack. Okay. Um, are you dead? All right, let's roll. Wait, can't we roll? Okay. And then pick dice from here. Strong boss. Ripper Elite. Great. Ooh. Oh, we killed it. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Loot. Oh, it's walrus teeth that you need to get those. Um, these were the things that the Beastmaster was uh, willing to accept for those animals. So we could get a polar bear if we got 10 of those, but that's re that would require killing a ton of walruses. And we got a bunch of raw meat, which... All right, let's use this first aid kit. Well, we're going to take everything because we're going to use the first aid kit and then we won't be overburdened. But this is going to be huge for our sanity. Okay. Are you... Are you dead, sir? Toughness is all gone. Are you the only one that's bleeding? No. All right, let's use first aid. We set up can't attend to the injured. Let's heal Private Christopher Overton. I think. Oh, poor Meryl. Yeah, we might we might lose some folks. We might lose some animals. But this animal does take up a slot and we don't have an animal handler, so honestly, we do get like two people permission. Yeah, let's heal this guy cuz he's going to die. Okay. Now we're not overburdened. This was terrible. I could level you up. And you are all healed. Um, I don't know if we're actually going over any hills, though. Although, maybe? All right, where do we want to go? Compass is saying, ooh. 
The compass is kind of just anywhere but north, but it's no longer pointing that way. So this, I think we're going the right way here. 19 sanity. Okay. I'm game. Let's try it. We're just on an ice flow here, but we need some visibility. Uh-oh. In the wilderness, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury from being infected. Lewis's wound, oh, Lewis, Lewis doesn't take up a slot, was beginning to look particularly nauseating. That's not good. Infected wound. It will lead to certain death if not treated, but we there's nothing we can do. Maybe we should have waited to um, use the medical kit until we got an infection. Our poor little dog. Um, I think we continue... And you know, I think these are, these plateaus, let's level up Christopher. You know, I think that, I should have checked, but I think that might actually be helping our sanity here. Oh, we never, oh my gosh, we never explored the shrine. And now I can't go back. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I explore it? There's probably, what if that's where the instrument is? Oh no. I'm a fool. All right, let's just go here. Oh, man. If I don't get the instrument, I'm going to be pretty upset. And I don't, honestly, I doubt I'm going to get it at this point. Boy, we could also just keep... Ooh. The egg we had found started to tilt and cracks began to appear on the shell. Something inside desired to get out, and after a few minutes of trying, it finally succeeded. A newborn tortoise laid on the ground before us. Oh. Well, it is cute. It does not seem inclined to be useful. Grows at a rapid pace. It's a baby tortoise. And we do have the inventory. Because we used the med kit, I guess. So, yeah, I don't want to fight these things anymore. But, hey, another shrine. Maybe we'll get lucky with the instrument. Okay. Our baby. Oh, our baby had been growing at an alarming rate. And I was now, uh, a now able to be of assistance. What happens if we ask it to trek with us? A fully grown tortoise such as ours would be a great worth to the expedition. He seemed clever and large, and I decided to name him Mr. Winters. Four extra capacity! That's great. That's not as good as the oxen that we had before that we got rid of, but I bet you don't take up a slot, which would be huge. Um, no, you do take up a slot. Mount? Since I have too many Trek members, I don't know if that matters until the end of the mission. But I could be wrong. Am I mount? Did I mount him? Traveling on the back of an animal, he's a slow mount. Greatly increases comfort. Reduced base sanity cost for traveling. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Well, we're going to want to keep him. Oh, oh, I was going to say if we lose Lewis, we might... You know, we might replace him with Meryl, or replace Meryl with him, even though Meryl does give us some attack stuff. Okay, um, examine shrine. We need to do this. I could see it from far away, a menacing temple-like building. Its size surprised us when we drew closer. Dread filled me when we ascended the steps. While opening the entrance, I heard humming in the back of my head. A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. Well, we have to enter. I found weirdly shaped bridges inside that no human architect could, would construct. Up above was a weak light, and just at the edges, I could feel something moving up above. I was not sure if what was before me was an altar stone, an altar stone, or an impact crater, or something that crashed here from above. I think we've seen this before. Instrument, a golden plate, golden earrings, and a moonstone. No instruments. That's really disappointing. Uh, now I could take everything. This is not worth as much. Um, and I would be in pretty bad standing with natives. We're already in bad standing. What's the worst that can happen? Take it all. We have the inventory. What a glorious day. The artifact would sit atop the altar no longer. We took whatever we could and proceeded outside as the plant life began, uh, behind us began to wither and die. A drastic climate shift. Ooh, this is kind of like the volcano before. And maybe I should have thought about that. What kind of climate shift? Okay, we got some, like, dust or something. Now, our compass is still going crazy, but it's kind of saying over here, which is awkward. 
I think we have to go south. Now we definitely need more sanity, so let's let's eat some of this meat. Burnt. Yeah, she is she is cooking it. She said, "Eh, voila." I got a little sanity. So where are we where do we want to go? Let's make sure we have enough sanity to go where we need. Burnt. Are you going to get better at cooking that? Because you're pretty terrible. So we can go here now. I guess we might as well. You have too many track members. I don't think that's, a, that's affecting our movement. What? Oh, this is not what I meant. I don't think. Okay. There. Travel. Um... Oh, I can't because I have too many track members. Oh. Now you don't take up a slot. What do I do here? I th think I might get rid of Meryl because I really want my mount and we don't have an animal handler anymore. That's pretty sad. Honestly, I'm... Yeah, sorry, Meryl. I pondered if it was wiser to part with Meryl. Goodbye, Meryl. And, he, you know, he'll survive in this climate. He's a husky. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now we're actually overburdened. I kind of didn't think about that. Um, I guess we use all our meat. All right. We got a bunch of sanity from that. And we're... Okay. <sighs> Alright, here we go. This episode is lasting a lot longer than the other ones. Oh, that climate change is actually... Oh, it's desert now. Interesting. Okay, what's going on here? Without access to medical equipment, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury from becoming infected. James Sterling's wound was beginning to look partic particularly nauseating. That's, that's, an, that's two infected wounds. This is not great. Okay. Um, Compass is saying east, south. Yeah, we still want to go south, and we have to go over these mountains. This is not great. This is not great at all. I think we have to eat the chocolate. Um, all right, let's just go right here. And I, I'm pretty much, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so we didn't find the instrument, and that is bad. Um, but we, like, in theory, like, there's still some time, but we could have, like, gone back to, like, really look. We just didn't find it, and that's the risk we took, and we're gonna probably lose some fame or something like that because we didn't find it. And, in fact, I have to eat this last chocolate just to get here. But we did it. We definitely made it to the Golden Pyramid, and I want to... Uh-oh. Okay, and Juliet LeBouf is now infected. But, so we have three infected people, but we're about to win, and I think those infections will all go away because of that. So, this is not bad. This is a pretty good situation. We're going to end here. I it, I don't know. I'm going to just assume the instrument was probably here, and we never searched there, and we should have. Although, we did search one place like that, and I don't know. Who knows? Oh, well. Here we go. The Pyramid of Gold was... Our goal, but for the claiming. We had survived the expedition. Whoa. Oh, and now with this moonstone, we can enter the pyramid? After weeks of traveling, extraordinary pride came over me. I knew that the name rolled a month in. So we... Wait, we needed the moonstone to enter it? I feel like that doesn't usually happen, but... Did we get incredible... Wow, look at us on this giant tortoise. That's awesome. Um... We may have gotten really lucky in grabbing that if we needed it to access the pyramid, because that's not something that we did before. Okay, success. Golden pyramid. New world bonus. Speed bonus first. Pretty nice. New fame, 1600. Nice. And love you. We should get another bonus here. Bullet hoarder. Ooh, we get to find bullets. Now, that's not great. Those take up inventory slots. Black market. Access more gear when equipping your track before heading out. 
interesting. Or better max sanity. I black market is sounding pretty good to me. Let's try it. Okay. So wow, this episode is coming in just shy of an hour. What? Oh yeah, we're gonna go up next. Talk about the, yeah. Um, so these are all the artifacts they collected, and that's how they're getting so much fame, even though we're winning. But we are still winning. In fact, that definitely put us ahead. 1492. Look at that. Um, so we have these jewels, and they have a lot more fun, so we'll sell them. Ooh, these tusks. Um, or the teeth. I think we're actually going to keep these because we can. We know we can trade them later. Um, that's for fame. And this is also for fame. Awesome. Look at us. Continue. Okay. So that's the episode. We're at 1720 fame. We have two more expeditions left to go. Um, so look forward to that next time. I really enjoyed playing with you today. Uh, remember to leave comments. Let me know what you think. It looks like next time we'll be able to go to Drylands, Desert again, Jungle, or two jungles. I think we're going to go to jungle because we do have a bonus for there. I'm just not sure which one. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.